everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we've got one here from Witty Wings in 170 second scale diecast. It is from their Sky Guardians range, of course. It is an FA-18E Super Hornet from the US Navy's VFA-137 Kestrels, while aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln. Now, the VFA-137 were originally formed in 1985 and are still active, flying both the FA-18 Hornet and the FA-18 Super Hornet. The squadron has been deployed on numerous uh, occasions in various combat zones. They have an exceptional operational performance and safety record. But unfortunately, in 2010, two VFA-137 aircraft were involved in a media collision during a training uh, exercise. But both pilots did survive the incident. Now, this does come in the usual sort of uh, box for these type of things. These are already uh, set in gear down only. So, for you in flight, guys, I am sorry to say that will make you unhappy. Well, let's look. We'll just get this out of the box. Ah. So, this does not have any in flight option, but what it does have, it's got a stand. So, you don't get in flight option. But you got to stand for when you want to have it in flight. <laughs> that that is funny, Witty Wings. You've got a great sense of humour. <laughs> uh, so let's have a little look. Yeah, so this got got a metal stand in there. Um, that, that is weird. Uh, for you know, when they do have uh, in-flight options, you never get a stand. We'll get this open. Uh, pull that cover off there and uh, have a look at that Hornet. Boy. That does look pretty cool though, and we don't need to do anything, so that is awesome. It's got uh, it's got those little pieces in there protecting the rudder. All right, let's pull this out and have a little look. Oh, it does look pretty cool. That is fantastic. Let us check this out. Man, that does look nice though. Uh, my my fingers are breathing in a big sigh of relief too, uh, because we don't have to dick around with any um, landing gear. So. <laughs> But I reckon overall, though, the um, panel lines do look pretty pretty good for an older sort of model. They are engraved reasonably well. There's a lot of detail. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera, of course. All the armament is on there as well, so we don't have to do anything except admire uh, the finish. I will open that canopy up there, and there's the pilot figure inside there. There is a bit of detail in there. Hopefully you can see that. We'll close that back down. We'll have a look at the tail markings. As I said, there is some rudder movement, so that is always good, and some stabilizer movement. They are, well, a little bit loose, but as I said, this is an older model. So, well, if you do like what you see here, hunt on the interwebs to uh, grab one of these, because that's the only way you're going to get one, because these are discontinued. The engine detail isn't huge, but it's good enough. As I said, these are a little bit floppy. You've got the uh, rudder movement. There's the USS Abraham Lincoln on there. That is pretty cool. Very nice. Be careful with the little antennas on these because uh, they are easy to knock off with your fingers. Let's turn it over and have a little look underneath. It's got a lot of detail in there. Oh, thank the Lord, we do not have to put all those gear bay doors on and everything like you normally do. Yeah, that looks great. It's got a good amount of detail. The usual quality, and I reckon they do come up really nice. Yep, pretty cool, man. I like it. Yep, overall, I reckon it's a you know, pretty decent build. We'll put it on the deck. And it sits there fantastically, of course. And of course, this is the stand you get. You just have to assemble it with the little screw there, and it's straightforward. Uh, this does sort of move around too, if you want to change the angle of the aircraft when you want to have it on the stand. And well, we might as well put it on the stand to show you what it looks like on the stand. So you just, uh, easy done, you just slip it in there. I'm always worried though with these type of stands, if any of those exhaust um, do decide to let go, your aircraft is going to crash to the ground. But um, that is why I'm a gear down kind of guy, because I like to just have it rest on the landing gear, because that way they don't have very far to fall if something does go wrong. But that is how your Hornet is going to look on the stand. And I reckon, look, it does look pretty nice. That is going to be the angle that it's on as well. So it is on a you know, reasonable angle. But the stand is really solid. It's all metal and it screws together nicely. So there's no uh, issues with it being wobbly or flimsy. It is really solid. And as I said, you can change the way you want to have, if you want to have the aircraft banking as well, which is 
pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's that. Oh, well, I'll wind up the video by, of course, doing the usual. I will uh, take some photos of this. Chuck them on at the end of the video if you want to see this pretty cool looking hornet without my hands all over it. And, uh, you know, sausage finger test, it is, you know, the hornet size. <laughs> but I reckon overall it's a pretty solid build. I don't mind it at all. Uh, and as I said, if you're a, an in-flight guy, you will be a little bit disappointed because you cannot put this in flight. But you do get a stand for if you want to have it in flight. <laughs> as I said, uh, witty wings have a great sense of humour. All right, so uh, with that, I will finish up by saying thank you so much for spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, pretty cool-looking Hornet today. So once again, this is from VFA 137 Kestrels. It is an F-18E -E Super Hornet from a Witty Wings, their Sky Guardians range in one semi-second scale die cast. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. You all have an awesome rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.